So in this short little video, which you could maybe call a two minute Tuesday or a top tip Thursday, I have no idea what day this video is gonna go up. But anyway, in this video, I just wanted to give you a tip which will really help you nail focus with your TLR film camera or really any film camera with a top down viewfinder. Uh, I have no idea how I'm only figuring this out now, but sometimes that's just how it goes. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and another video. So when I'm using my TLR film camera, which is right here, um, most of the time, as you will have maybe seen in videos, uh, I'm shooting like landscape scenes or wider scenes that maybe don't have one particular subject. Most of the time, most of the scene is uh, tends to be in focus. And often in these occasions, I'm shooting at f11 or f16 i want most of the scene to be in focus and i tend to use like the zone focusing system and the tlr has a little scale on the side and um, to sort of help with that and most of the time i'll maybe focus on something like a third of the way into the frame or something knowing that it doesn't have to be completely spot on because i'm shooting at f11 or f16 so most of the things most of the scene um will be in focus and most of the time that tends to work pretty well but this summer i went to a few car shows as you may have seen on the channel and when you're taking photos of cars as any of you car photographers will know nail and focus is key the zone system doesn't really work you can't really get away with missing photos when it comes to car photography because you have a pretty obvious subject and depending on what angle of the car you're at um you want, let's say, the headlight or the grill to be in focus and then the rest of the car can kind of fall out of focus a little bit. Um, but you need to get your focus spot on or very close to it when you're taking pictures of cars. And I had a few different cameras with me at these car shows taking, taking different photos and stuff. And when I took out the TLR, which obviously has a top-down viewfinder and a little magnifying glass, um, I realized that it's a little bit trickier. So for a lot of the cars, I wanted to take the photos um, a little bit lower. So like waist level, where the waist level viewfinder kind of makes sense. It is nice. You can look down into the ground glass, frame up your scene. But normally when focusing with a TLR, what I'll do is I'll flick out the little magnifying glass and then try and put my eye pretty much on it to uh, focus and stuff. And uh, normally that works. Or if I have it on a tripod, I can sort of lean down and uh, focus but with cars and the way i was holding the camera to try and get a lower angle i obviously couldn't bend my head down because i didn't want to move the uh frame and i didn't want to ruin the composition i wanted to keep it at my waist and uh obviously that meant i couldn't put my head right down to the magnifying glass but it turns out when you flick the magnifying glass out and look down into the ground glass from further up it increases the magnification of the um, what you're seeing in the ground glass. Hopefully you're sticking with me here. A magnifying glass, obviously, the, the further away you move it from the subject or the further your eye is away from it, the more the magnification is increased. This kind of sounds like a science lesson. But the point is, because my eye was further away from the magnifying glass, I was able to really nail focus because although I couldn't see as much of the composition, I could really only sort of see what was in the center, which tended to be the headlight or the grill of the car. I was able to then really see if it was in focus or not. And I managed to nail focus on pretty much every shot that I took with the Yashica at the car show, which was actually surprising to me because I was a little bit worried about it. I struggled with focus on different scenes before using the camera. And this time when I really needed to nail it using this technique, it worked. So the point is you don't have to put your eye right up to the magnifying glass when you're using a camera with a top-down viewfinder. I think it's just a habit and we kind of assume that that's what you should do. It is nicer for composing the scene um, at times but actually keeping your eye further away from the magnifying glass. So instead of doing this, keep it down here, try and find what you want to focus on. It increases the magnification and allows you to really see if what you're focusing on is in focus. Yeah, that sounded complicated trying to explain it. It isn't just uh, don't put your eye up to it next time and see if it helps with your focus. 
like I said though, it only kind of works when you're focusing on something around the center because you can't really see the entire ground glass area. So yeah. This is probably going to end up a little longer than I want it to be, but that was a, a little more complicated to explain than I thought it would be. Uh, yeah, but maybe give it a go next time you're out using your camera that has a top-down viewfinder and a little magnifying glass. Um, I think you'll find that it definitely helps. I'll maybe do more of these little uh, two-minute Tuesdays or Top Tip Thursdays or whatever they're going to be. Um, just because there's a lot of little tips and stuff that I would like to share. Let me know if you would like me to do that. But uh, anyway, hopefully this one was helpful to some of you out there. If it was, maybe give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you want to see more. And uh, as we always say, take it easy. Don't be a stranger. Thank you.